CataractCoach.com, should you remove the pterygium? Is it okay to just do the cataract surgery and not worry about the pterygium? Let me show you a case here. This is me operating, one of my routine cases. I recently did a surgery here. You can see there's a nasal pterygium for sure. Now, before we get to that, let me tell you about the Cataract Coach Podcast. The top podcast in all of ophthalmology is there to make you a more successful ophthalmologist. If you want to be successful, you listen to the podcast everywhere where you find podcast services. You'll figure it out. Now, back to our case here. You can see here, we're going to make our normal phaco incision here. I'm sitting temporally here. I did a reasonable job here on the draping. And now let's take a look. There is a significant nasal tresium. Now, the question is, what do you do about it? Do you remove it? Now, classic teaching tells you that you should do the trigium surgery first, remove the trigium, and then wait months and months and wait till the cornea is stabilized and then do the cataract surgery because you have a better you know, understanding of the true refractive state of the eye. Because as you know, trigium can cause some astigmatism. Now, look at this trigium. First thing you notice is it's kind of mild. It's not that big. In fact, the patient doesn't even notice it. So if you look at that trigium there, we can do a corneal topography. And what does the topography show? It's basically no effect from the trigium. There's no induced astigmatism. There's no distortion in the cornea. So yes, at the top of your screen there, there's the patient's nasal trigium. Okay, so what? Now, the patient's not concerned about a cosmetic outcome. Now, as you know, I do a surgery on a lot of celebrities and a lot of Hollywood famous actors and actresses who've won these Academy Awards, but that's not this patient. This is just a regular patient. And this patient does not mind the pterygium. It's of no consequence. So this patient says, I don't even see the pterygium. It's not that big of a deal to me. So what should I do as the cataract surgeon? Now you can see here, we're taking the cataract out. It's a real cataract. There's certainly lens opacity there. There's nuclear sclerosis. Doing the cataract surgery will certainly improve this patient's vision. But do we also remove the trigium? And my advice to you is, no, don't. Now, take it on a case-by-case -case basis. And in this case, what we're looking at is a patient with no induced astigmatism, now, if you had a huge trigium that was distorting the cornea and causing irregular stigmatism, obviously remove it and restore the cornea back to normal. But this cornea actually has a minimal amount of astigmatism. And look at the trigium. It's very quiescent, meaning it's not angry, it's not engorged, it's not enlarged, it's not inflamed. This is not a big honking pterygium. The patient looks in the mirror and sees a big, huge red wing come across the cornea. No, that's not it. This is a very mild pterygium that the patient reports by history has been there for 20 years. Well, then you know what? Let it be there for the next 20 years. It's not important to remove it right now. It's not going to have a refractive outcome or influence on the patient's vision here. So why would you do anything? Remember, when I see a patient, I treat them from the heart and from the brain. I don't treat patients from the wallet. And what that means in English, if you translate is, it means that I'm not doing the treatment that generates the most revenue for me. When I see a patient, when I give you treatment, it's not about the revenue generated. It's not important to me at all. I want to give you the same treatment that I give my own family or to myself. Now look at this picture here. Look at that picture of the video here. If that was your eye and you had this little bitty, itty bitty trigium here, would you want to have a trigium surgery done? Nah, you'd say, you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Leave it alone. Let's do a cataract surgery, fix the cataract. This trigium induces almost no astigmatic change. Okay, let's just do a cataract surgery then. And the patient can be very happy. Now, I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in Beverly Hills. You know how common plastic surgery is here? Right, you know it. And look at videos of me. You've seen me, you know my face. Look how ugly I am with a big nose and I'm, I'm a hot mess. But I am not concerned with the beauty. I'm concerned with the function. So if my nose works okay, I don't want to do surgery on it. 
And if my cornea works fine, and even though it has a little bit of an, a trigium on there, I don't want to touch it. So again, for this patient here, this patient was extremely happy. Because ask yourself, what's the recover from a cataract surgery? Recovery is very fast. The next day you're seeing beautifully. Everything goes great. And what's the recovery from a pterygium surgery? It's a lot more involved, right? The eye stays red. You're on drops for a long period of time. The eye can be inflamed. It's a lot more painful. A cataract surgery is easy, quick recovery, no pain, no issues, happy patients. And that's what we delivered here. Look at this video. Look at that beautiful, beautiful rexus, by the way. That's a beautiful outcome. This patient had such a beautiful outcome. 20-20 vision the next day, so happy. And the patient doesn't mind the trigium. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, check out our podcast, Top Podcast and All of Ophthalmology, for a reason. It teaches you how to be more successful. Either listen to the podcast or don't and suffer the consequences.